Hey, what's up guys? It's Kaji. And today's video are the top five things that anime fans do to show their appreciation. Now, animes can't even be cartoons, so I'm not just saying all, only anime fans do these things. But these are the five things I think every anime or cartoon fan does at some point, either in their childhood or in their adolescence. So if you found anything that you've done on this countdown, let me know in the comment section below and I'll see you there. Number five, voice imitation. I am guilty of this. I do this every single video. I don't even know why. Sometimes I try to do my regular voice and I just, I can't. It's just, it's part of me. I love anime. I love characters like Goku, Yato from Norgami, Spongebob, even from Spongebob Squarepants. These guys left a mark on my childhood with these voices and with these characters being so influential in my childhood, I can't just let go of them. And I want to say also, shout out to voice actors. I love these, these guys and these girls' passions towards the voices and just the overall concept of trying to match the character's voice and just trying to perfect what you think that character would sound like. So I show my appreciation for not only the characters but these people by just trying to imitate these voices and just show that the effort is well respected and I love the things that these people do for the anime community and for the entertainment industry. So thank you guys for making this not only the best experience for anime fans but for entertainment in general. Maybe one day I might even take it upon myself to climb into the voice acting industry and try to just put as much work as these people do into voice acting just so I can see how it feels to be in that spotlight. But I really, I really appreciate voice imitation. Number four, cosplay. Cosplay is extremely fun, but some people don't put it off like this guy, but you know, it's still fun to do. And at some point in my, I guess later, later life, I want to cosplay and try to, you know, try to pull it off. Like this guy with Krillin right here, he wears makeup to take it to the stream. And he actually, I don't know if he draws these dots on his head, but he goes into detail and he leaves nothing like nothing on the table. This guy is killing it. Even these girls that are dressing up as Android 18 and 17, they are just killing it to the fullest. And this Android 18 right here is the most authentic looking Android 18. I just had to put this in this video. She has the attire down to the key. And not only that, she has the attitude like mimic. It's like are you Android 18? Are you baby? I need to know. Anyways, I really love cosplayers. They just make the anime community just so fun to be a part of. And without these guys, I just don't know what we would do. Guys and girls. Some girls even pull out the male characters and just the out. If there's pictures, go find them. This guy with the kibu imitation. This is one of the most detailed character cosplay uniforms I've ever seen. Has the holes down. Didn't just, didn't just put on the skin. Put holes in the skin because he knew that he had to represent. The guy looks like Cable right now. Give it up to this guy. So cosplayers, thank you for making the community just so fun to be around. And just giving us something fun to just experience in Comic Con and all these events that we have year round. Number three, stunts and role playing. We have a few guys in the community that do this and excel at it. Siri X being one of those. So uh, shout out to that guy. The guy just knows how to take it just one step further. Even like Goku in public, I thought the video was one of the most entertaining videos that we would ever, ever really find in this community nowadays because most of the community is pretty much news and you know stuff like that but I really enjoyed that 
interaction from the series. And I also love this. Jay, the Super Saiyan. This dude killed it. A lot of people started just like shoving this guy like in the mud. Hating on the man. He went for a Super Saiyan. I don't care if no one says this dude killed the Super Saiyan. He screamed. He did not give a fuck what anybody was thinking. He just went with it. And despite him not being built like Goku, this dude went Super Saiyan. And I just, I had to put this moment in here. We also have those of us who, you know, just love to imitate something simple like the Kamehameha. I find myself doing this every single day and I just don't know why. It's, I guess it's just part of my muscle memory now. But the Kamehameha is just one of those moves that if you don't imitate it at some point in your life, get on it. It's, it's powerful. It's just straight powerful. And I just, I can't imagine life without Kamehameha. These guys with the CGI, Tingohan, he has the detail with the arm just dripping down like it's broken. Even Jaws blood on itself. Like you just when you cosplay, you've got to go above and beyond. And these guys take it to the next level. The CGI and the detail costumes, not just putting anything on and trying to like make do with, you know, average material. They are going out there and just putting all their effort into this stuff. Really loves cos cosplayers. Now, number four, collecting. Collecting is just one of the things that you can do that you don't have to be the biggest anime fan in the world to do. You can just collect video games or your favorite series, posters, action figures, and even cards. We'll get to that in a bit. Action figures are one of those things that are just safe to collect, especially if you keep them in the box. You don't have to ever pull them out. You can just look at them. And if you ever need to sell them and you need money, and they go for pretty, they go pretty high because they are like patented and amazing. I want to get some action figures sooner or later, but right now I'll just sell for video games, posters, and any other collectible that I can find that I can afford. Now, one of my biggest collections was Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Sadly, I've lost it. I don't have them now. But this collection right here was one of the most important collections that I ever had. Because when I was a kid, Yu-Gi-Oh was all I had, really. Dragon Ball was kind of like gone. And you know, they still show reruns, but Yu-Gi-Oh was all I had. Having a deck of just 50 cards, getting up to like 300 cards, never got to this amount, would I love to do it. Just couldn't get, just couldn't afford it. But just getting a deck and collecting your cards and just being able to say, hey, I got cards from the show. And I'm very happy that I can show my appreciation in just one way. It's very just inspiring. I just love that I got a chance to collect Yu-Gi-Oh cards. So collections are one of the best things you could ever do. Number five, getting our peers and friends around us to watch anime. Some people, you know, they just, they don't like the anime community because sometimes people just aren't into, you know, I guess fiction, but for the most part, I have not met anyone that is not willing to look at like popular series like Dragon Ball, One Piece, Bleach, and stuff like that. And most of the times when you get them into a series like that, they do become fans of anime. So everyone can be tempted. Don't let them fool it. But trying to get our friends to watch anime is just one of those things that we can do to show appreciation. And I'm glad that I've done it. Most of the friends that I've had either watched anime or just started to, you know, open to the fact that anime is just part of me as a person and that without it, I mean, I just, I can't really be me. But for the most part, we try to get our friends into anime and that's probably the best way to stay in our community and make sure that we have a healthy community and we keep growing. I don't want, I don't want to ever see the anime community cease to this. So, Guys, do a favor. Do, do yourself a favor. Do everyone a favor. Keep the anime community alive. Show your appreciation in 
if not all these ways, many other ways, and let's try to keep this community growing. Hope you guys enjoy the video. Leave a like, subscribe, and comment. Until next time, my friends and new viewers, fair well. I won't forgive you. You stole my body. And you killed my family. Oh, I'm pissed now. I'm really serious now. I won't forgive you.